Yo, what's up guys, AFC Udino here, and um, a bit of a mistake on my part guys, uh, this video, uh, I found out while recording that I didn't have my mic on at the beginning, so, at the beginning of the bit I turned it on, but uh, for now, yeah, I'm using this Volcarona team with Default Goldbat, I honestly think Goldbat is one of the best Defogers in the game, uh, as you can see, we kind of decayed a bit because we didn't play, uh, we decayed due to inactivity, uh, back to the 700s. Uh, doesn't really matter because we don't care too much about our rank. But yeah, what I was saying in the original recording is uh, that we are really close to 2,000 subscribers. We're like 10 subscribers away. Uh, it would be awesome if we can get it before the new Pokemon games drop. Uh, Shining Diamond and a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, yeah, that was what we are. That's our goal basically for this month. Uh, hopefully we'll get it. And yeah, like always guys, the team is on Patreon. And let's do a little team analysis. Uh, I figured that my full Corona was really good this game. I only needed to weak Garchomp a bit, maybe Tyranitar, depending on the Tyranitar set. But with a Quiver Dance up, I can definitely do a lot of damage. Uh, but uh, first, I need to get rid of the Sturdy on Skarmory. Because uh, Mien Shao also does really well for Sim. If I can somehow get. Like, Miesha can weaken his team a bit, uh, maybe weaken the Garchomp. But I decided to lead off with the Garchomp in this case. Just because it just damages his team really well. He, he led off with the Rotom. And I, I wasn't sure what kind of Rotom this was. But I felt like I did want to poison this. But unfortunately, he went into the Skarmory. And from here, the sound worked again, so uh, enjoy, guys. It should be fine. As it whirlwinds. Okay, okay. Roll with. I'll just keep you turning. Don't really lose anything from it. I'll just go gold bat. He doesn't have a close combat switch now, actually. Uh, he keeps whirlwinding. That's surprising. However, I'm never going to give him the opportunity to Brave Earth me because Close Combat is looking so good for his, his team. So... It's just better for me to keep going Golbat. As he does a Brave Earth here. Okay, cool. That was quite a bit of chip. I'm going to roost there. As he roosts. Completely fine. Da, da, da. So I would really like Heat Wave on this, but I'll just Brave Bird break the, the Sturdy. As he does Whirlwind there. Cool. If it's me and to me and Shao, and it's on there. Because he does braver than this, actually gonna kill me. That's not good. <laughs> However, though, I don't know what kind of Tyranitar this is going to be. What I can do is just stealth rock here. He keeps brave burning for some reason. Okay. 
It's gonna roar air. Because he's gonna take the damage. Recoil, recoil plus this. Puts him at a really low amount. So anything on my team can basically kill him. And I just go gold back there. As he decides to go into the Rotom. Uh, that's completely fine. Let's see who takes out wrong, uh, Sandstorm first. He takes Sandstorm damage first. And I do see leftover. So this is a bit of a speedy Rotom, I guess. It'd be fine. I'm just going to click Toxic here. As he opts to go for a Wisp. Which is fine, because I don't really need to hit anything with Red Bird. Having him poisoned... Uh, doesn't mean too much, but it's nice for Rotom. Uh, it's nice for Weavile, because Skarmory is weaker now. I can just roost there. Because I should still be able to knock out uh, the Skarmory with Brave Bird. But the Renatar is the one that comes in. And if I can get more damage off on the Renatar, that would be really nice. Uh, just because... I think Volcaron, I can kind of beat him. Especially with Sandstorm gone. So, what should we be doing here? We can just go into Hippo. I don't know if you are the Stealth Rucker. If he doubles into Skarm, that would actually be a decent play. Goes for Crunch. And it looks to be Choice Bandit. So what we could do, I think for he outspeeds this. Hmm, how should I play this? That is definitely choice band damage. Oh yeah. I'm gonna suck it, but I already have rocks up. We already have rocks up and I can just go Volk and just click Bug Buzz. Because that's definitely offensive to Renatar. With that amount of HP, I can knock him out. And he decides to sex Skarm, which is fine too. So I kind of suck that I don't have Mian Xiao at this point. But now, if this thing is gone, I just beat him because his Rotom doesn't doesn't have Toxic; it has Willow Wisp. I just go directly into uh, my Oregon as he goes for Stone Edge, anticipating uh, he crits me, unfortunately. But that did absolutely zero. I can just recover this off. I don't know if this is an, is an agility Metagross. I left over, so okay. But I have Volcarona on the back to beat this, so I just... Do I let him hammer arm me? What does he even have to hit me with? I still think it's better to teleport. Psychic, okay. So, I really wonder what he has to hit me with, because... And headbutt is probably the best thing. I just realized, guys. I just realized I still have an XP share. <laughs> I still have an XP share. I think I win with a quiver dance. Let's uh, make sure. Let's make sure. Oh, actually, I don't knock him out. I should have. I should have fairy danced. My bad. My bad. My bad. I 
should be fine though. I think that's Scarf Jump. I think it's a Scarf Jump, so we, we should be fine. <clears throat> So I know this guy's choice bandits. I'm just gonna recover. He only has he only has eight. So I just keep recovering. He can he can crit me, but that crit won't kill me. So he has he has uh, six more. Cause I, I traced the Samville from Garchomp, so it was more likely for him to miss. And I'm just getting the free damage on the Garchomp, which is really nice. Uh, so after the next Salt Rocket, uh, he will begin Bug Buzz range. I have to keep in mind that this is this is most likely Choice Scarf uh, Chomp, so. Because it's uh, Choice Scarf Chomp, he's gonna outspeed my uh, Volcarona after Quiver Dance. So I can definitely see him Wisping Air, still teleporting. As he goes for Pain Split, that's fine. I think I still think going Volcarona is the best player. And I'll just uh freely quiver dance. Uh, he's probably gonna volt switch into Garchomp. Kinda sucks that I don't have left always. But I have stealth rock up. He can he, he cannot really do this too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we go back. And yeah, this, these are a few stone edges he's wasting now. And the reason I'm teleporting here is I don't know if this guy is toxic or something. So that's why I'm not going hard into Volk. Because I know Volcarona is the one that's going to win me the game. And he does go for the teleport. Uh, he does go for teleport. So... Stealth Rock. I mean, he does go for Stealth Rock. Uh, that kind of sucks though. Do I go Volk? This is why not having leftovers just sucks. I still have the X XP share. But if he has Zen Headbutt, then it would be problematic for me. Okay. But next up, I just need to hit him with Bug Buzz. Defogger. Just for Psychic. I'm actually Spadef, so I think I live this. No, I don't. Is he especially offensive? That's insane. Not that it matters. Because I'll click Bug Buzz.
go back into um, this guy. As, as we skillfully dodge the attack and I can teleport if he stays in, we go Weavile in pursuit. So again, we get in Volk. Oh, for bug bus there. It's probably volt switching. That way I have him in weep out range too. I know that attack is not gonna do much. Want to see me fire? <laughs> Want to see me fairy dance on the on the meta grows? <laughs> I honestly think Porygon on itself wins as well. I don't. I'm not really afraid uh, to make that play. I think that would put me in such a great position, though. But fairy dance now on a Metagross coming in, and if he knocks me out, I still have Weaver on the back to beat this, and I think Porygon on itself will be beat a poisoned Rodom. Metagross has Psychic, and he has to be specially offensive to knock out my Golbat like that. Because it's really easy for me to go back into this, so I can definitely see him maybe doubling into Metagross. Uh, but he didn't really make that play. So, are we manly enough to just Fairy Dance? I see Dragon Rushes. Okay. That sucks. So I could have pivoted back. I could have gone hard Metagross to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. I'm just discharging here. As he goes Rotom. Gonna paint split. If I teleported, that would have been nice too, actually. Let me just nice slash this. Because I don't think it's Hammer Arm Metagross. I doubt it is. If it is, then uh, yeah. It's my bad. <laughs> but just because you you Stealth Rock Psychic, I don't think it is. So, just discharging it. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm still going to be faster. And... I'm going to be faster because of Hammer Arm, so I don't really mind too much. A pretty discharge here, too. Trying to lower my special... Yeah, see how much that does, guys? I, I really think this is especially offensive. gonna recover again as he crits he is in ice beam range anyway but it's like I said I felt like Borrigan would win against this team anyway and he misses this uh, this dragon rush which is really cool and if I dragon has taunt then it won't matter too much I will outspeed him uh, after the I will outspeed him after the hammer arm anyway, so... I'm gonna recover here. Like, when I'm full HP, I can just attack. Oh, 
would be nice if he doesn't get those special defense drops. <laughs> or if I can get a paralysis with discharge. I never seem to be able to get it, guys. Like, I'm taking discharge to be able to paralyze. I might as well take Thunderbolt then if I need damage. <laughs> There we, there we go. Just for hammer arm here. Not gonna be enough. I'll just kick this charge. Oh, I have, I have his clear body. I didn't. I forgot. Oh, that's actually cool. And to be safe, guys, what I can do is just uh, keep recovering till he gets paralyzed or something. I think that's the safest way of winning. There we go. It's our our rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, it gets double paralyzed. But it's so, it's so good. It just discharged the mana because he's so weak. To power gun. So the moment he sacked the star Renatar. I was really confident that the Porygon would win. Focus Blast, okay. Well, if you're Scarfed, you won't knock me out. And you need to knock me out with... Okay. I mean, you can keep roosting. I have a Weeva on the back, <laughs> which clicks Icicle Crush. If I don't miss. And I can still freeze. He spams Roost, so I, I, I don't really care. Decides to pour it, and we win the game, guys. <laughs> but that was a long game, man. Uh, maybe we can get. Maybe we can get. Maybe we can get in another game. <laughs> man. I'm gonna pause the video, video till we find ourselves a battle, guys. Okay, guys. Ten seconds before our next game. Hopefully we can play a bit better with our Volcarona, because Volcarona should have won, won that game. So this actually doesn't look bad for Volk either. He does have a Blaziken though. It's the only thing I would need to weaken. Um, as long as I keep Oregon 2 for the Cloister. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is his Cloister being King's Rock and flinching down my Porygon. But lead-wise... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lead-wise, I do like uh, my gold bet. I really hope he doesn't lead Cloister. does lead this, which is fine. I don't know if he clicks Trick immediately. But I'm clicking Toxic. I'm definitely leaving Volt Switch. And whatever he brings in gets poisoned because I cannot miss Toxic. Unless he goes into Scissor. Unless he goes into Scissor, but Scissor isn't the biggest threat as I do have Hippowdum plus Volcarona on the back. That looks like an offensive, but um, I guess that's cool. That's cool. But we do see the leftovers. Kinda wanna go hard weave on this. In case he goes for heal ball or something. Thunder wave. Okay. So he might actually not have... Um, I'm actually not... I don't mind this too much. To be honest. I don't mind this too much. I 
I don't actually mind this. A reason is he's Thunder Wave, so he might not have Heal Bell, uh, which is good for us. He double paralyzes me. <laughs> oh man. I should should have clicked pursuit there. <laughs> I should have clicked pursuit. Uh, it's okay though. Because he was taking a lot of poison damage there. I can still use this as a sec, so I'm just gonna bring in Hippo. This all also gets rid of a potential focus sash on Cloyster. He goes for a Swords Dance. Uh, that's fine. Doesn't knock me out at plus two. And I can just stealth rock up here. Just for that Toga Kiss and Cloyster. He Swords Dances and you into U-turn. He was left over, so I wasn't too worried there. Goes into Swampert. I'll go Golbat. This might actually be his Stealth Rocker. I can just roost. <clears throat> so I, I I already let him take the damage there. So what we could do here is just uh, click defog, as he's most likely going to roost anyway. Um, I defog because I did get value from setting up the, the rocks. Because he did take damage, forced him to roost. I'm gonna take poison damage here as well. And then I can just go into King Weevil. He knocks me out, that's cool. So that's okay. Heal bell on this, okay. But you're actually Roost, Heal Bell, Thunder Wave, Air Slash. I see. And of course He keeps paralyzing me. That's the that's the worst part, guys. He does have King's Rock. Uh, that's it's annoying. However, if he doesn't get if he doesn't paralyze me, he's probably going for this fall. <laughs> he seems like that kind of guy. Please don't do this to me. What the fuck man? This game is so dumb. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's so stupid, guys. <laughs> that was so stupid. Like, if he doesn't get it, he dies, you know? It is what it is, though. So, not not a good game for Volk. Seems pretty decent for Weavile, if I click the right move. Mian Xiao, definitely scary too. Um, how am I gonna play this out? Gonna go into this. If I can poison this guy, that would be awesome. It really does people. I literally, if I, if I don't get flinched there, 
I knock him out and I will most likely win the game because that's his win condition gone. Oh nice. So I can pursue trap this guy. Get rid of Starmie, that would be nice too. So I'm actually gonna go hard weaver on this. Ice beam, psych Psy shock psychic doesn't really matter to me. He does end up switching into Chansey, okay. So it's probably gonna click Toxic. You can go Golbat. <clears throat> Doubles again to hit Pound, and this this isn't better for him. I just click Toxic again. I can roost on you. This is still damage. He decides to stay in. What is he clicking? Is he teleport? Probably. That, that would make sense. Just click soft will. Um, he still takes more damage. It doesn't gain anything here. Can click toxic again. Now he teleports, okay? Toxic teleport. Uh, Savoyal teleport. It's his moveset. And his Starmie still takes damage, so I'm fine. Like, just look at this. Still making the hard weave I'll play. I'll, I'll live any hit. Even though Starmie isn't a threat, getting rid of it, it would be nice, as he doesn't now end up going for the Psy Shock. And now I'm gonna click Pursuit. Like he won't be able to one hit KO me. I'll two hit KO him if he stays in. If he switches, he's gonna die. Nice. So that star me gone. Makes it easy for me to click Icicle Crash later on. As he only has Rotom left. Oh uh, now Dragonite comes in. I'll pivot directly into Hip Out. And if this is especially offensive Dragonite, uh then Porygon will wall this. Even if he has superpower. Oh, and, and in this case, I am able to get up Stealth Rug. As he does go for Dragon Dance. Uh, plus one Dragon Claw should not... Should not... Um, one hit KO me. So, uh, two hit KO me. So, I am free to kind of go for the Stealth Rug here. As he is life warped, that's interesting. I'm able to get up Stealth Rock though. So Rodom is gonna switch in on this. And I can just go for the Slack off there. You see Dragon Dance is up, which is fine. He's still taking Sandstorm damage. And I will roar here. Because he's still gonna take the Rocky Helmet damage. Um but I don't want him to Dragon Dance again on a double slack off. Like, he's super low now. Probably looking to taunt me, though. I can go into Golbat. I think that's safe. Now I can pivot into Mian Shell. I could have gone directly into Mian Shell, but I, I want to make wanted to make sure he doesn't have like Brave Bird. That should be fine. 
So I'll be able to U-turn. The Rocky Helmet. Okay, so he's physical. That's good to know. I can pivot into Volk. I see Brave Birds, but I think I should leave this because Mana Burst attack is not that high. And I'm just gonna Fairy Dance here. Because if he switches out, he has to come back in on rocks. Uh, so. And I'm not too afraid of the Chansey. Like, I don't need Volker Run. I, st I still have the XP, XP share. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna change this. Okay. Um, this is not. This is okay. I'll just bug bus. He could have missed this too. I'm just making sure he's not able to. I'm just making sure he's not able to go for the um, for the healing move. And he's like Dragonite, that's cool. But next time I can just Sack Hippowden on Rotom. Because he has to go Hippo here. I'll just U-turn. I still end up with more HP, so... Can go to Golbat. And now he's not able to click uh, switch in on close combat. Which is nice too. So this is one of the freest toxics here. So even if Chansey comes in, I'll, I'll depoke on Chansey. Like I, I think it's already checkmate. So I don't need Hippowden to win, so I'll just say Hippowden on Rotom. Unless the Rotom has rest. Uh, but I've, I haven't seen any rest, resto chesto Rotoms. And he was packing leftovers anyway. So if he does go Rotom, I'll poison him. Go Hippowden so, uh, go Hippowden so he won't be able to uh, go for the Deep Hog. Uh, go for the Paint Split. And with him being that low, I just bring him here and show click Close Combat. And then 1 hit KO, oh, 2 hit KO on the Hippowden. Or killing the Rotom or killing the Chansey. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and if you want to see more. And yes, check out the team on Patreon, guys. The link is in the description. And remember, guys, we're really close to 10, uh, 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So, 10 subscribers away. Please help me out.